So let me see if I got this right here. You want to play a video game that was published by Acclaim and put on the Nintendo Game Boy for Sega Spark Weekend. How does that make sense? Well, sir, it was only published by Acclaim in North America. It was actually made and published by Atlas in Japan. And when Sega acquired Atlas, they also got the rights for this game. Thus making it a Sega Atlas game. All right, oh, Larry. Wait. <laughs> everyone, welcome to Sega Spark Weekend, where we play a Nintendo Game Boy game, licensed by Nintendo by Acclaim, but the game itself is owned by Atlas, which is owned by Sega, they're making this a Sega Spark Weekend episode. <laughs> a lot of technicalities here. Uh, I'm not actually playing the game right now, this is a demo. Um, Welcome to Quirk, a game I've seen a couple times at uh, my local game store. I always thought it was like some cool spot, like knockoff or something like that. I never knew it was owned by Atlas until I started like drawing up a lot of like Sega and Atlas characters lately. And like, uh, I saw that uh, under franchises owned by Sega done by Atlas was a game called Quirk. And I clicked on it and I'm like, wait, I recognize that box art. Wait a minute, what the hell? That's an Atlas character? Yeah! This, in Japan, this was published by Atlas, but in America, by acclaim, but Atlas owns the rights. Ergo, Sega owns this. So, yeah, this, this counts. And I've done a minute and 40 seconds of trying to explain why this is on the Sega Spark weekend. Okay, so, select game, going up, heading out, or versus mode. Um, I guess going up? Uh, let's try easy. Let's see what this is all about. Wow. Now uh, floor one. Uh, display. Either diagonal view or bird's eye view. Well, let's try what that di diagonal is. Uh, let's start. Okay. Well, this doesn't look too bad. All right. So. All right. Ah oh, man, why wasn't I watching the uh, demo? <laughs> oh well, I got it right anyways. So. It's a little puzzle game, and that's Quirk's girlfriend. I don't remember her name from the game description, but yeah, look at this little cool spot looking bastard with his freaking mohawk going on. This is weird. <laughs> All right, so let's see here, what do we got? Push you there, push you there, push you down, boom. That was probably easier than the first puzzle. You did it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, this is absolutely a one-off. Alright. Pretty simple. Well, it's the beginning of the game, and we chose easy. God, it just blows my mind that this is an Atlas game. Okay. Clearly not what I meant to do. Can I... Aha! We can redo by pushing the A button. Alright, so what I want to do... There we go. I could actually see myself playing this game growing up. I just bought it today. Uh, which one this is going up, I have no idea. Because right now I'm focusing on finishing up, finally, the Mortal Kombat movie review. In case you didn't know, I was taking a hiatus from playing games for that reason. Okay, let's see here. Can't move it. 
Hmm. Only now can I, but now I can't get it down there. Hmm. What is the solution? God, I look like a freaking weird-ass Tamagotchi with sunglasses. Wait a minute. When I look straight forward, you can tell I have the mohawk. But when I'm, like, facing that way, or that way, or that way, I'm bald as hell. What the shit? Okay, what is the solution here? Because I can't move the damn thing unless I move this block. B button does nothing. I just noticed it makes a noise when I try pushing a uh, unmovable object. Because there's no way of getting it back down. And that's a problem. Am I getting stumped on level 5? Is this the end of freaking quirk? Wait, can I move it this way? I can! I'm a dumbass! Haha! -ha! Why didn't I think about that? Move it on the opposite end, you freaking idiot! Whoa! Who, who that? Is that my girlfriend? I can't talk to you, I can't interact with you, but who, who are you? Who this? New game, who this? Okay. So... Uh, it's... No, I botched it. Okay, let's take a good look at this. Okay, so... My Retron crashed randomly. So we are continuing with this. Um, I decided to, well, it's not that hard to get back to this, but I decided to go with bird's eye view instead of diagonal view. It's honestly not that much different. <laughs> Only I just don't see my feet. Oh wait, I already did this one. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Why did I go back to this one? I already did it. No, nope, dumbass. You go on this side. We, we spent so much time doing this one. Oh man, which one? I don't even remember which one I left off. The crash just really threw me off. Alright, here, this is the one. So who are you? Who are you? Alright, so let's take a moment to look at this. Oh, wow. I don't even face the directions. Wow. Bird's eye view sucks. I don't like, give me diagonal view any day. Okay, so let's take a look at this real quick. So I can clearly go this way. But I gotta figure out a way to get the block. Hmm. Ah, damn it. Did I overshoot that? Well, clearly I did. But how do I get it down? Okay. It's gotta be very simple. It, it has... It, of course it's gotta be simple. Well, who the hell is this? What is happening? What is happening? Why am I vibrating? What is going on here? Okay, I'm ex I'm I'm ending this. Uh, select floor. Floor six, diagonal view. Okay, I'm not vibrating anymore. But who is this? What? What do you do? What do do? I can't inter- Whoa, shit! Oh, shit! I can't interact with you! Okay! Okay, so just keep you there. Okay, so I can switch characters by pushing the select button. I should have seen that coming. That has to be the girlfriend. That has to be Quark's girlfriend or something. I don't know. Partnering crime. Oh, we, we both have to fit. Oh, we have to finish the level together. That's sweet. All right, let's continue this. Like, ah, uh, I'm I'm lonely again. Ah, uh, reflecting my life. Okay, so 
Okay, so let's just present things like this. I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work. Yes, that will work. There we go. Wait, no, 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 no. I I'm still a dumbass. Uh, f shit. Well, I don't need it like that anymore. So I'll just do that. Uh, does this work? Yeah, it works. It worked fine. God, there's just something enjoyable about old school Game Boy games. I botched that already. Okay, push you down. Down we go. Down we go. Not what I meant to do, but... Wait, I I'm still screwed. I can't move that now. Wait, ah, damn it. It was pointless! Okay, just keep you there. No, no, no. Can I... Oh, no, 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 I'm still an idiot. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let me try that. So, what I can do... Push you down. No, I still won't be able to... Do shit about that. I don't know why I'm doing this when I still can't get past that. Once I move that, I'm tr- oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm kind of getting a better picture of this. I guess it's because I can still move it. Wait, didn't I just- I just did the exact same thing, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did the exact same thing. Because now I still can't move this. By the way, I have no idea how long this episode has been since uh, I can't remember how long the episode was before it crashed. Okay, so I, the only way I can get over there is... I'm just trying random things here that, yeah, I can't do anything about that. This is a good puzzle. This is a good puzzle, in my opinion. So far, the only thing I can see is you could just do that. Well, I was gonna try to see if I can move... Wait a minute. No, that still doesn't do anything. Okay, this one's got me stumped. Dee -dee -doo, dee -dee -dee -doo, dee -doo. Okay. No, you can't move both two blocks at the same time. What the heck is the answer? I have no idea what the answer is. What is this? Ah, uh, this is bugging me. Wow, ah, uh, yikes. Wait, let me double check how this, how does this start? Okay, I'm in an immovable room. That still botches you. I don't know, like maybe moving that down a little by a peg will help. 
Because you can't pull... No. I'm like in total concentration mode right now. Then you're just totally screwed. Once you push this thing here, you can't pull things back. I mean, it's not like this is an answer or something like that, because then everything's just screwed. All right, I'm going to give this one more attempt. Okay, because uh, I'm just, like, trying to think of how this could work. Move that there, move that there. Like, it's this, this puzzle is a perfect mirror of itself. And I just keep getting stuck doing the exact same thing. Yeah, that's just it. That you can't do anything else. Once you get over here, you're you're just screwed. What does the back button do? What the Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop. Wow, I've definitely been playing this for 9 minutes and 43 seconds, so this has definitely been a long episode so far. Stop, stop, I didn't want to go back! <coughs> no. Ah, I've returned to game, I see. Select get. Yeah, let's just... No, no, I wanted to push back, jackass! Ah, damn it, it doesn't even want me to escape. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Quirk. Um, if you grew up playing this game, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, if you want me to actually continue playing this, maybe there's some sort of story or something, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you for joining us on this really random-ass Atlas game. Bye! <laughs>